I have a list of questions I always ask before I start designing. I then gather my thoughts. We choose the fabric and I start sketching. I created a straight silhouette that would make her look taller, a thin belt that emphasizes her beautiful waist, a boat neck showing her neck and collarbones. A special pattern for the dress according to the customer's measurements is created by our experienced constructor. She makes the first pattern, we look at it together and if needed we will make some changes in view of my thoughts. This is a very important step considering that after we cut out the dress major changes can't be made anymore and as the fabrics we use are expensive we really don't want to mess it up. We will do several fittings to make sure that the result of the gown would be divine. I like to make fun that the first fitting is more for us, the designer, constructor and tailors because we need to get the proportions in place and where for example the intakes have to start or end and so on. In the second fitting we can already see the almost ready product so the client will get a much better idea of how her soon to be ready dress will look like. There's a lot of work and effort from our whole team that goes into making a gown. During the fittings I enjoy getting to know the client. Often we not only share our thoughts about the piece that we are creating but also talk about other topics that are important in life. On the 24th of February I can't help but watch the broadcast of the Independence Day Ball myself to see how the dresses look on the screen. It's fascinating to see the end result with all the accessories and hair and makeup done, but as I'm a lifelong learner, it's also important to see how the fabric and cut work on the screen to take notes for next time. And of course, on the 25th of February, there is a great buzz in the press about which women were the most well-dressed at the event. For a designer, this white tie event is certainly one of the highlights of the year. <laughs>